What's up, guys? All right. Uh, so we're back at the house after finishing up the weekend at Road Atlanta. And tomorrow, well, let me back up. Today was a full rest day. There was no energy uh, put out today. But so tomorrow starts the work week again. Uh, we do our mobile track car preparation business during the week. And uh, tomorrow, that's kind of what we're doing. So um, we got a customer with a Porsche GT4 uh, 2006 model. And uh, he's going to get uh, oil change tomorrow. And also a full brake fluid flush with some Molto 600. And just getting prepared for that right now. You can tell I've probably been asleep most of the day trying to recover from Friday, Saturday, and Sunday of 12 hour crazy work day in 100 degree heat. But anyway, it's no big deal. <laughs> so, uh, oh yeah, say hey to old blue here. I think that's what we're gonna start calling the Mini Cooper. Um, Cause this was my wife's car when we got it stock um, and she called it Blue. So we're just gonna go ahead and name the Mini Cooper Old Blue. And I think we're gonna have Old Blue hanging out for quite a while. So uh, the next upgrade for Old Blue is gonna be um, harness bar harnesses, lighter seats, and then something to do the transmission so it will shift uh, faster. Um, Let's see. Oh, let me show you what's going on tomorrow. So here you see kind of a pile of tools and uh, oil, uh, brake fluid, brake fluid kit, jack stands, jacks, all that good stuff. So about to load all this up in the, the Yeti <clears throat> and going to be headed to Atlanta tomorrow to take care of this car. And I think we've got one more thing pending. I'm not sure if I'm doing two jobs or one or more, but I know this one's first thing in the morning. So about to get all this stuff loaded up in the back of the the Yeti here and then we'll be headed to Atlanta first thing in the morning and uh yep that's kind of where we're at tonight just took a whole day off relaxing trying to eat rest get energy back up and I'll get ready for this week so anyway uh we'll cut it off there I'll see you guys later all right guys good morning um rise and shine right <laughs> it's Tuesday uh, so I am uh, over in Smyrna, Georgia with a customer's car this morning. I'm doing the oil change. It's a 2016 Porsche GT4. I uh, came in GT4 and like I said doing the oil change and we're also going to do a full brake fluid system flush and uh, put in some new fluid and get it ready uh, for the next track uh, outing that he goes to. And right now I'm just driving around in it for a little bit to warm up. Uh, the oil because uh, it helps so it's eight a little over eight quarts of oil in this engine and uh, you know it takes a while to drain out so if I go drive it around a little bit warm the engine oil up just a little bit helps it drain out quicker so it doesn't take as long to do the job and uh, the plan is the plan is to um, get it up in the air start draining the oil a little bit I'm gonna go ahead and pull the wheels off and <clears throat> pressurize the brake system and go ahead and start doing the uh, brake fluid system flush while the oil is draining so it can do two things at once because uh, I got other stuff to do today so I can't spend all day on, on this but anyway it's a quick way to do it if you're doing something like this at home um, but yeah so that's kind of what we're doing today and uh, just taking a ride around in the, the GT4 and it does have the manual you know it's pretty cool huh usually these have the the pdk uh most people choose that for the track but this guy chose it with the el manuel and uh we're just kind of putting around here a little bit Woo! just get her warmed up a little bit and i have been driving it for probably five minutes before i started this so the oil is probably about where i want it to be and uh yeah anyway I'll see you guys in just a little bit when we get back to the garage. All right. All right. So, got the car back and uh, got the oil at the temperature. Here's a little side shot for you. Pretty sick little unit, huh? <laughs> yeah, so. Still got the tow hook in there. And uh, getting ready to get this thing up in the air, so. Here we go. I'm gonna get my stuff set up and we're gonna get the 
back up in the air go ahead and start draining the oil out and uh, go from there all right all right guys so got the car up in the air got the oil drained out right now finish that and I've got all the wheels off uh, I've started uh, getting the stuff ready to do the uh, brake bleed and I start here of course you always start from the wheel furthest away then the next one then that one then the front left uh, basically as long as your reservoir is the front left that's the order you would do it in and we've got all our supplies here we got some oil mobile one zero w40 full synthetic and we got some Molecule 600 rbs 600 and of course we have our uh molly oil filter and you gotta have the oil filter wrench and of course recommends to replace this uh, crush washer uh, every so often so you can get uh, I think I have to go back and look for sure but I think I got this this and this off of Amazon and um, I got these from the Porsche place and also the brake fluid from Amazon as well not that the stuff is not always on Amazon so you have to kind of watch out because the sellers go in and out of stock but anyway I want to show you guys this too so by myself so I'm using a motive power bleeder uh, you screw this little guy onto the brake reservoir and I pump it up to about 20 psi pressurizes the entire brake system and then you, of course you start back here and just crack these open bleed until you have the air out see the new fluid and then move all the way up to the front uh, one thing you do is you do fill this up with fluid first before you start and you pump it up that way uh, it keeps the reservoir full and the fluid flowing through the lines um, and then one other thing I guess I'll show you so in order to catch the fluid coming out I have this little handy dandy container here and you can pull the, the top off of it like that and then you swap to this top which has the uh, little thing you can put the hose on so basically that goes there hook this into there and this little guy goes onto the brake calipers just like that uh, yep let's see what else we got going on so uh, in a second I'll get up onto here and show you where the uh, oil filter housing is and we'll get that off and uh, I guess take you through the process of finishing this bad boy up all right man it sure is nice when it's cloudy and it's not a thousand degrees like at the racetrack in a nice garage it's nice and cool you know uh, it's pretty chill so doing these jobs is a nice break from the weekend thrashing that we go through sometimes but uh yeah all right see you guys in a bit so i'm gonna take you underneath with me and we're gonna go up under here and take a look at where the oil filter housing is um so let's come on up under here with me and oh, it's probably gonna go upside down crap let's see let me try this there we go so if you take a look um right through here where is that okay you can see um where are we at okay right where my finger is in just a second where are we at right on the tip of my finger uh you can see the oil filter wrench attached to the oil filter housing right here so and I've got that guy on a uh, 3 h drive <clears throat> extension. And all you do is hook a ratchet up, you know, right here, break that guy loose. One thing I want to mention is you can see that when you do take it loose, um, it's going to, some oil will leak down on the cross member right up here. So what I like to do is put a couple of paper towels down in place and put them on the ground and we can bring our uh, drain bucket over here at this point. The oil is pretty much out, so what I'm going to do is put the, the new crush washer on and the, and the bolt back in here. That'll stop it draining out of this, and we'll move over to doing the, the oil filter real quick. But yeah, that's the location. Um, and just the FYI, uh, since this is the GT4, this is your oil pan here. And it's not rear engine necessarily, it's more like mid-engine. So if I follow me out, you can see how far up that is. As you can see the exhaust here so kind of like you can see the now that we're all the way at the back of the car the oil pan is right there so more of a mid-engine setup uh, one other thing I wanted to point out what's cool about these cars is you can see your sway bar oops that's upside down let me help you out here so you got sway bar adjustments right here you know right now it's set to middle 
which is how it comes from the factory, I believe. But it's a real quick and easy way to uh, loosen or stiffen the rear sway bar. And I believe the front is the uh, same way. Yep, pretty simple. You just take it out and move it back, and that's the same on the other side. And just a quick tip there. So, all right, we're going to get out from under here. And uh, I'm going to get back up under there and finish this thing up. And I'll see you back in a minute. Just real quick. So, got the oil filter housing off. It looks just like this. And it normally has a o-ring this little guy wrapped around the bottom lip right here uh, and so when you buy the filter it comes with a replacement and all you do is just use like a little wire tool or something and get the old o-ring off we're going to put the new one on and uh, reverse the order here so we get this on and put the oil filter wrench back on the bottom and we will pour a little bit of oil in this guy just so make sure that, like you do on any oil change, see if I can set this up. Well, nope, that won't work. Anyway, so I'm gonna put this O-ring on, throw the filter in there, and pour a little bit of our oil inside of here. And we'll go back up with this. And once we're finished, we'll go back to the top up here, and we will fill her up with, try to get right around eight quarts exactly. And so, now since this car is the GT4, uh, you can actually go in the car and it'll tell you if it's low or high on oil. So use that to measure and get it precise and just right. So, all right, on to the next one. All right, so just finished up the full oil change and also full brake fluid bleed. Uh, we put in some Moltool RBF 600. Uh, pedal feels tight, fluid levels topped off. Everything feels good, so now it's time to basically reassemble everything, go for a test drive, make sure everything checks out and uh, hook up the scanner. I've already cleared out and reset the oil change interval and um, yeah, everything's good to go. Uh, I always run a full diagnostic on the car to make sure the customer knows of anything that may not seen uh, that didn't come up on the dash and this one's good to go, it's clean. And uh, yeah, pretty excited. It's a beautiful car. I love the black color and the, uh, I like the checkerboard across the side here. That's pretty cool. It's just like a light, subtle gray and everything so I would, uh, you know, I would own this color. I like, I like that setup there. So anyway, we're gonna throw everything back together. And uh, one other thing I wanted to mention is, so uh, this car gets tracked, I think about four track weekends a year. And I noticed that the left side tires, which are now these, uh, had a little more wear than the right. Uh, and typically he does Road Atlanta, Barber, and tracks that are a lot of right-hand turns. So. What we're going to do since we got these off is go ahead and rotate the left tires to the right and the right to the left and that'll get him set up to go back out for the next track outing um yep and everything's good to go uh good pad wear uh doesn't need pads yet you know i've got about a little close to half left on the back and about the same on the front so yeah all right see you guys in a bit she's all finished up and we uh, wiped down the brake caliper so they're nice and shiny red there for him looking good and uh, yeah about to go for a test drive see how she does man that thing looks so good in the Sun <laughs> beautiful car and uh, so yeah we're about to go for a test drive make sure the brakes work uh, oil gets up the temp no leaks and uh, the oil level is correct uh, other than that we're pretty much finished up here so see you guys in a bit all right guys we're pretty much finished up it uh, looks like the TPMS light came on, no big deal. That's from swapping the wheels from left to right. And uh, what we're gonna do is just pull up here and reset that for him. And uh, he'll be good to go. Everything's finished up. The car drives great, uh, as it should. And it looks like the oil level is good. And uh, anyway, if you like this, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. And if you do, Make sure you hit the dang notification bell or you won't ever know when I post a video up. So yeah, do that if you like it. If you don't, then thumbs it down. Let me know what I did wrong. You know, I'm, I'm open for that. Anyway, if you got any questions about the oil change or the brake fluid bleed, uh, give me a comment down below and let me know. Um, anyway, we're gonna go in here and reset this and we're pretty much finished up and it's on to the next job. And again, this is Joseph with uh, Corsa Crew, race.com. Go check us out, and uh, we'll see you later.